Hi all, today we are going to discuss the electrostatic effect of radio interference. Let us take for example, I am taking three power carrying conductors which is A, B and C which are kept in the equilateral triangle and let us assume a transmission line or a communication line is passing nearby which is represented by the conductors D and E. So what is the effect of the electrostatic effect of these conductors A, B, C on these communication lines can be analyzed easily by taking the method of images. In the method of images, whatever is the value on the top, so same image, we assume one more image is existing below, which is having the opposite polarity of the charge, what is passing on the top. That means D, E, I can represent by D dash, E dash, with respect to the ground having the same distance. Similarly, the A will also have its image, the C also will have its image, B also will have its image below the ground. So, this is represented by B dash, C dash and A dash. So, the distance will be same. So, this also distance will be same with respect to the A dash. HA will be equal to HA dash or both are same. So, now using the method of images, let us try to solve. So, in this, I am assuming the each of the conductor is having a charge of Q coulombs per meter length on the conductor A, then the potential that is induced in conductor G due to the potential at conductor A, so that I can represent as VAD is equal to minus Q divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into integration from, we have to do the integration from HA to DAD. DAD will be because we are taking from infinite or to the ground to the point we are considering or we are taking up to D. So that is why DAD is the distance between conductor A and the conductor D that will be 1 by x, this is due to conductor A and it is having an image conductor also, image conductor A dash. So, if you calculate for a given value of the x, this can be represented as 1 by 2 times of H A minus x. So, that is the distance of the image conductor A dash with respect to the location where we are considering, that x you are considering. So, this will be dx. So, this will be equal to q by 2 pi epsilon naught into ln of 2 times of HA minus DAD divided by DAD. So, let us take it as equation number 1. So, let us take the voltage at conductor A between A and the image conductor A dash. This can be written as integration from 2 times of HA minus R because we know the electric field inside the conductor is because it is a equipotential surface. So, inside the electric field will be equal to 0. Electric field will be only starting from the surface of the conductor or it start from the radius r of the conductor and second conductor the distance between these two is 2 times of HA. So, we have to subtract minus r and similarly it is up to surface of the first conductor R. So, that is why I am representing this. This will be Ex dx. This we have already seen in electromagnetics. If you still have doubt about this, you can please refer to my electromagnetics lectures. There I have taught this in complete detail. So, and moreover, one more thing, I am providing the complete handwritten material in the description of this video. You can download the complete handwritten material from there. Here you just try to understand the concept I am teaching and you can download the complete material for the exam from there. So, this will be integration from, because when compared to 2 times of HA, the R is far, far less. So, this R can be neglected when compared to this. So, this becomes 2 times of HA to R, Q divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into, so because of one conductor, it will be 1 by X plus 1 by 2 times of HA minus X. This is due to the second conductor or the image conductor. This value we get, so this will be equal to Q by 2 pi epsilon naught into 2 times of ln of 2 times of HA minus R divided by R. Because we know VA A dash is voltage of A with respect to A dash or this I can write as voltage of A with respect to the ground plus voltage of ground with respect to A dash or otherwise this I can write as 2 times of voltage of A with respect to ground or 2 times of voltage of A. Because VA represents that is with voltage with respect to ground. So, that is why this I can write as 2 times of VA. Then, so now from this I can calculate my value of the VA, 2, 2 will cancel, we can calculate it or from this I can derive the value of the Q will be equal to VA into 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln of 2 times of HA minus R divided by R. Let us take it as equation number 2. So now this equation number 2, the value of the charge I am substituting in equation number 1. This equation number 1, wherever q by 2 pi epsilon naught is there, I can represent this one, q by 2 pi epsilon naught, the epsilon naught I can take here. This will be Va by ln of 2 times of HA minus Ra. So, when I am substituting this, you will get this value as Vad is equal to Va divided by ln of 
2 times of HA minus R divided by R. This will be multiplied by ln of 2 times of HA minus DAD divided by DAD. So, let us take it as equation number 3. So, this is potential difference between conductor A and the conductor D or the potential of conductor D due to the effect of the conductor A. So, similar way I can calculate due to the effect of B and C. So, total potential in the conductor D will be equal to the effect of each of these values. So, this will become VAD plus VBD plus VCD. So, because of this the voltages are induced in the respect to communication lines in each conductor. So, similar way I can calculate for the case of conductor E also in the similar procedure. So, now how to decrease this value because always this value will be non-zero. So, how to decrease this value? What are the remedial measures to make this electrostatic effect as zero? So, that can be done by transposition of the power lines neutralizes the unbalance in the capacitances of lines because all these effect is coming due to capacitance effect. If the capacitances are equal, we know that the respective charges passing through each phase are displaced by 120 degrees. So, because of that they will nullify out if you are transposing the transmission lines. So, that the electrically induced voltages are balanced out in complete set of transposition. So, transposition two things will be there. One is the charge and the second one we can tell that it depends on the distance of separation between each conductor to the communication line. So, I want each conductor to the communication line distance should be same, but it is not same. So, by doing the transposition that distance becomes same. So, automatically it can capacitance will be get equalized in all the lines. Then the transposition can equalize the magnetic fluxes due to positive one negative sequence currents. This is for the case of magnetostatic effect we have discussed in last class. So, positive one negative sequence currents, but zero sequence current cannot be nullified because zero sequence currents will be in phase with each other as they are in the same phase with each other. So, the induced voltages due to zero sequence current can be eliminated by transposition of conductors of the communication line. So, whatever the zero sequence currents are coming, you just transpose your communication line by transposing because in a loop they will get cancelled out. Even though the voltages are nullified between the two conductors of the communication line, still the voltage between the conductors and ground is not nullified. So, the insulator should be of proper rating to withstand this voltage. So, in order to give the proper justification of this statement, let us take one example so that it will be completely clear to you. So, after the example, we will discuss in detail. So, I am taking a 3 phase 11 kV 50 hedge feeder has horizontal configuration with 1.2 meters between adjacent conductors. The height of the conductors above the ground is 10 meters. A telephone line is run on the same supports. The horizontal distance between the telephone wires is 0.6 meters. The vertical distance between the power line and telephone line is 1 meter. So, first part they have asked find the magnitude of voltage induced in the telephone circuit due to electromagnetic induction if the power line carries a balanced current of 300 amperes. Then if the power lines has a diameter of 14.15 mm each calculate the potential of the conductor P above the earth due to electrostatic effect. So, how the electrostatic effect is creating the voltage, why insulation is required that also it is asked. So, whatever is given in the numerical I have just represented in the form. So, here you can see the three conductors are kept horizontally. They are displaced by 1.2 meters apart and this is my transmission line. Transmission line is kept a distance of 0.6 meters among them and the height of each conductor with respect to ground is 10 meters and the height or the gap between the power conductors and the communication conductors is given as 1 meter that is a vertical distance. So, I have from based on this I can calculate the distance between each conductors. So, I can write the distance between D A and P that means conductor A and P similarly it will be equal to conductor C and Q because of symmetry. This will be if you calculate the, using the triangle method you will get it as 1.345 meters. So, similar way D B P and D B Q with respect to B both P and Q are symmetric. So, if you calculate the distance, this will come as 1.044 meters. So, similar is the case DAQ are equal to DCP that will be equal to 1.803 meters and it is given the current is balanced. So, I am taking the current as balanced IA is 300 at an angle of 0 degrees, IB is 300 at an angle of minus 120 degrees and IC is equal to 300 at an angle of 240 minus 240 degrees or I can write it as 200, 300 at an angle of plus 120 degrees because both are one and the same. So, let us try to calculate the flux linkages. So, I can calculate the flux linkages which we have seen in the last class. So, the flux linkages can be written as 2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 
into the value of IA is 300 at an angle of 0 degrees into ln of we have to take the distance of conductor A with respect to the second conductor Q. So, with respect to Q it will be DAQ is 1.803 divided by DAP will be 1.345 plus the second one is 300 at an angle of minus 120 degrees and this distance will be B with respect to Q and B with respect to P both are 1.044. So, this will become ln of 1.044 divided by 1.044. So, this is the value. So, now coming to the third one. So, third one will be 300 at an angle of minus 240 degrees or plus 120 degrees into ln of C making a distance with respect to Q. C with respect to Q is 1.345 and C with respect to P is 1.803. Okay, this will be in Weber turns per meter using the second calculate flux linkages. So, this will be equal to 304.5 into 10 to the power of minus 7 at an angle of minus 30 degrees. This is what we obtain. So, now the voltage induced in the telephone line. The voltage induced in the telephone line will be 2 pi f into lambda. So, this will be equal to 2 pi into your supply frequency is 50 into this value of this flux linkages we got as 304.5 into 10 to the power of minus 7. So, this will become equal to 9.57 into 10 to the power of minus 3 volts per meter. So, you can see here per unit length you are getting as 9.57 into 10 to the power of minus 3 volts per meter. So, like this the voltage will be induced in the overall transmission line. So, because of this voltage, this voltage divided by impedance of your communication line. This is my communication line. So, in this the voltage induced is 9.57 into 10 to the power of minus 3 volts per meter. Like this depending on the length of your wire, the voltage will be induced. This multiplied by length of your line gives what is the total voltage that is induced due to electromagnetic effect or due to magnetic effect. So, because of this voltage, this voltage divided by impedance of your line or your loop. So, this gives a current. So, one current will pass because of this interference. So, this current will add to your the current that is because what is passing in the communication channel. So, your signal get distorted due to the effect of this electromagnetic effect. So, let us see the second case the electrostatic effect. So, it is given the radius the diameter is given the diameter is equal to 14.15 mm. So, radius will be 14.15 divided by 2. So, this will become equal to 7.075 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters because I am representing all in terms of meters. So, I can calculate my VA is equal to it is given as 11 kV this becomes 11 kV by root 3 at an angle of 0 degrees. And the value of Vb is equal to 11 kV by root 3 at an angle of minus 120 degrees and the value of Vc is equal to 11 kV divided by root 3 at an angle of minus 240 or plus 120 degrees. So, now the potential of the conductor P due to the conductor A. So, this I can calculate as Vpa will be equal to Va into ln of 2 times of HA minus Dap divided by DAP this will be divided by ln of 2 times of HA minus R divided by R. This is what we get. So, this will be equal to 11000 divided by root 3. This is having an angle of 0 degrees. This will be multiplied by ln of 2 into HA is equal to 10 minus DAP is 1.345 divided by 1.345 divided by ln of 2 times of 10 minus r, r should be represented in meters 7.075 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 7.075 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So, if you calculate this, you will get it as 2100 at an angle of 0 degrees. So, similarly, I can calculate my value of Vpb. Vpb will be equal to Vb, whatever is the value of Vb into ln of 2 times of HA minus dBp divided by dBp divided by ln of 2 times of HA minus R divided by R. This is the value. So, if I substituting the values, you will get this value as 2317 at an angle of minus 120 degrees. Similar is the case, you can calculate for the VPC. Similar type of formula will come. If you calculate it, you will get it as 1847 at an angle of plus 120 degrees. So, this is what we get. So, we can calculate the total potential on conductor P will be equal to 
total potential of conductor P will be VPA due to A and VP due to B and potential of P due to C. This will be equal to, if you take the summation of this, vector sum of this, you will get it as 407 volts with the angles. So, you can see here the voltage is not nullified. What does this indicate? There is a communication line. It is telling that this communication line B, this is communication line Q. So, with respect to this ground, this potential is coming as 407 volts. This potential is coming as 407 volts. Similarly, you can calculate for Q. So, it will give some voltage. Let us assume VQ, some VQ is coming. So, the potential difference between these two will be VP minus VQ. There is no issue. But you can see each conductor is raised the voltage above the ground level. Let us assume if a person comes here and touch this conductor. If they touch the conductor P, what will happen? He will experience the shock because this voltage is very high. So, we have to take care of this voltage. So, here the first thing is because it is above the ground level, whichever things are carrying this that should be able to withstand this much voltage. Otherwise, the dielectric breakdown will happen there. So, proper insulation is provided for this in order to protect this voltage. Along with that, you have to try to nullify this or make some measures so that it will be nullified in the end. Take some measures so that it will be nullified in the end. So, this different methods, what are, how we can nullify this, those we have already discussed in the above before discussing this numerical. I hope the complete analysis of electromagnetic and electrostatic effect on the communication lines is completely clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.